Jade Poutier Ross believes being bilingual gives her an advantage. It helped her to get a job directing a podcast for Radio Canada, which required the use of both English and French. First, I was a bit like, I can't have it in Josh. It was shocked because yeah. my English wasn't really good, but I think he wasn't good at Russian things to realize he had to it. Many Francophones are worried because French is taking up a smaller share of the language in Montreal. However, the number of French speakers, especially in the younger generation, has actually increased. Uh, younger generation or younger Francophones are still, you know, uh, if you will, have this uh, or see French as very important as, as part of their identity, but don't see it as, uh, if you want, threatened as the older generation. They didn't have to go through all these struggles and battles. Some, like Guylaine Clermont, experienced a time where English was the dominant language of Montreal. Montreal is increasingly bilingual because non-French immigrants are coming and the government is having a hard time providing enough French courses for adults. The children will learn in school. For the city, I'm Jesse Crow.